Hey friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and uh, in this lesson I'm going to show you how I sort of came up with a guitar arrangement for this song, Jenny Oldstones. It was heard in Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 2. In the episode itself, it's an a cappella song, right? There's no instruments that are heard, right? But there is a melody, and I went to bed Awesome episode, I thought, and I was thinking, you know, I want to pick up my guitar tomorrow and take that melody and just try to put it to some chords and see what I come up with, right? So in this lesson, I'm going to show you what I went through to make that happen. I'm going to talk about how I took a familiar style, which I like, which is the kind of country Johnny Cash, you know, the boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. Right? I'm comfortable with that style. I thought I'd take that and I'd sort of match it with the melody, find out what the chord changes were, and just put together something that was fun to play and also sort of just, you know, indulges in my current, uh, you know, can't get enough of Game of Thrones. It's the final season as I, as I tape this, so uh, really excited about that. But uh, stick around if you want to learn this. There's lots of cool little tricks I can show you, little um, just general technique stuff and, and, and flourishes and licks and fills that I came up with. That even if you're not a fan of this show or this song, I think it'll be something you might be interested in as a guitarist. So let's get right to it. Uh, the notes and the tabs for this are at playsongnotes.com. I put together a PDF. Um, those of you who support me on Patreon will get access to that. Thank you very much for the support, and uh, let's get into this lesson. Okay, so first up, um, this song, you know, it's funny, I woke up this morning and I searched online to, to watch that scene again, and I find out that Florence and the Machine um, had actually, I guess, worked with HBO to create a version of this song, um, which was awesome, because I'm like, oh, this is like, this is something I can use, right? Now, she does use instruments in hers, but um, she's using pianos, and it sounds like some strings, so it's nothing too... Nothing too um, guitar-like, so I still had some freedom, and I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't really too um, like uh, influenced by what I heard by her. But it was helpful because there was some tonality and chords that she is using. So I looked online, I found some folks who had sort of written up the chords for her version. But right away, I saw that we were looking at these chords. We're looking at, you know, E major. We're looking at F, um, C sharp minor. We're looking at D, and we're looking at A. And those are not really chords I like to sort of kick in when I'm in a, you know, a country boom chicka boom chicka style. So what I did was I put on my capo in the fourth fret, and that turns an E into a, a C, it turns a C sharp minor into an A minor, it turns a B into a G, and if we need that A, it's going to be an F, right? But these are, these are much easier chords. It lets me use lots of familiar patterns I'm used to, right? Right? Lots of stuff that I'm sort of just familiar with with songs I'm playing. So I'm happy with this key now. Now the first thing I wanted to do was um, go through and just sort of work out the melody of this song. Right. So what I did is I, I put together um, this, got, got some my iPad out and I uh, got my pencil and I'm sort of listening to the song and I wrote out this tab. Right. And what this shows you here for the verse is basically um, the tonality we're having. Right. So A minor for four counts and to C then to G. And G for four counts and back to A minor. But the more interesting part here is I wanted to get those melody notes. Now these are the notes that are sung in the song. And what I did is basically just as, you know, Florence and the Machine is singing this, I'm basically picking, um, just figuring out which notes she's playing. And once you kind of get the pocket, like, you know, the, the handful of notes that she's usually working with, you've, it's kind of relatively straightforward to find out what those notes are because we're all in the uh, scale, the C major scale here, or A minor scale really, but basically, right? So I'm sort of doing that as I'm listening, I'm rewinding the song, and I'm writing it down as I go, right? And this is a helpful resource to have because it lets me refer to this back, it helps me train my voice if I want to basically sing it at all. Right? In the second line. Okay, so that's the melody right there. And even already, I could take that, and if I wanted to, I could sort of just add in strums of the chords as I'm sort of picking that out, right? The Right? 
little bit of mistake there, but that's okay. I'm just sort of feeling it out. I'm, I'm really looking for something that I can use and something that I can work with, with my playing style. It's not really, uh, I'm not really necessarily trying to play every melody note when I'm eventually getting into a groove here, but I want to get comfortable with it first. I want to sort of feel out the melody and look for like, what are some common things I can sort of use? Now, before we get to that, now I'll show you what I, what I found. Let's look at the chorus. The chorus is very similar. We're going from D minor to C, and then D minor to A minor, then one more time. D minor to C, then we had this E7. La da da dun dun. Now that last two measures there, that E7 down to an A minor, it really is like a satisfying part, both within the song, like lyrically, it's just like it's coming home, but in like a really awesome, dark, broody way, which kind of fits the, the tone of this song. So that was kind of the first like hint I got of a melody I could use, right? And these last couple notes. I'm going from a D, B, C, B, A. Those are the notes I'm playing from the E7. So I, that was sort of one little hint I got as far as, you know. Da, 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 da. So, you know, I'm that A minor groove, I'm sort of walking into it. Maybe I add an alternating bass note there. Then I had a memory. I recently learned a song by Coulter Wall, um, Kate McCannon. He's on an A minor, and what he's doing is he's going from an A minor. And he's sort of bringing his ring finger off that A minor and hammering on that third fret of the fifth string, right? Nice little groove there. Another thing he's doing is he's hammering on from the sixth string, open to the sixth string, third fret. And then he's going back to that A minor. So, little bit of technique there. All I'm doing is using my ring finger on my left hand to be the hammer on finger, right? a groove just yet. I'm sort of playing with some pieces, but I like these pieces. And then I end up putting this thing together. So this middle section here where I'm going. Okay, and what, has, what this has in common is I'm plucking a bass note, then I'm strumming the A minor chord. And the bass note's going to change. Sometimes I'm going to be on the fifth string, just open. Other times I'm going to do that sixth string, hammer onto the third. Other times I'm going to do the fifth string, hammer onto the third. And whatever is left with my other two fingers up here, I'm going to play those five strings. Sometimes it's an A minor seven, sometimes it's a regular A minor, sometimes it's a C. But basically this is the groove we're going for. And if you want to get really like heavy with it, what you can do is instead of doing a single strum, you can do it down up, right? So bass, down up, bass, down up, bass, down up, bass, down up. Kind of muting the strings here, little palm mute. Okay, so right away I'm happy with that little groove, and I'm thinking that's going to be my sort of home base recharge as I exit the, the chorus and maybe before I start each new verse of this song. Another little um, walk in I, I sort of did was this one, just using the notes in the scale. Okay, so that's basically uh, starting on the third string, second fret, open third string, second fret to open on fourth string, and then third fret on the fifth string, okay? And it's going to resolve to that open fifth string for the A minor, right?
Okay, so there. Now this isn't really um, too much in the in, this, in the melody of this this song yet, but it gives me a nice sort of feeling. It's going to help define the sort of vibe I'm going to go for now. Okay, so from there, let's go back to this sort of verse and the chorus of this song and see what we could do here. Now, a question I would have is if I'm playing this and I'm imagining I'm Johnny Cash, like would I during the verse maybe I can just do simple strumming and just sort of you know hum the melody, right? So. Uh, in the walls of the kings who are gone, gently will dance with the girl, the one she had lost and the one she had found, the ones who had loved the most, the ones who had gone for so very long, could Okay, so that's one way you could sort of do it. If I just wanted to do a down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Now on that first down strum, I'm just plucking the bass string, whatever chord I'm on. The A minor, and this is the C. Now, if you wanted to, you could get a little bit bass note shifty when you're strumming, right? Maybe, you know. Okay, a little bit sloppy there, but again, it's about feeling out the sort of the, the style that works for you. And, I'm kind of keeping the melody in my head, and I'm sort of strumming, and maybe I'm not hitting melody notes with those bass notes, and that's okay. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's again, it's about finding that sweet spot. You don't have to recreate the melody with every part of every instrument you're playing. I think that's, uh, that's pretty important. You know, you want things to fit together, especially if you're singing, then you're singing the melody. You can let the guitar do it at once. So um, basically, that's sort of what I've been doing the last couple hours tonight. Just been having a fun time with this, and I wanted to share this with you, right? So just throw a capo on that fourth fret, use these chords, and whether you want to do a simple strum, right? Or do something with the bass notes and the muted palm muted stuff. It's up to you, uh, but uh, again, check out the website for the uh, PDF I put together here. It'll have all the chords I'm using, it'll have the sort of melody tabs here for the verse and the chorus, and also this little run here I have for the intro. Um, and again, I have tons of other lessons on my website, on my Patreon page, and if this is helpful for you, please tell a friend, comment, share, like it, all that stuff. And if you don't like it, then uh, good luck finding what you're looking for. But um, for all of you who are watching this uh, this week before Game of Thrones ends, uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I am looking forward to it, because it's uh, pretty good stuff right now, right? And all y'all in the future, watching this after April or May 2019, you already know how it ends, so you're... <sighs> you don't get to watch it for the first time uh, like I do right now, so I'm excited. But I'm going to leave you guys. Stop talking. Uh, have a great night, great weekend, and bye-bye. Uh,